Welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have 81 to the power of n equals to n to the power of 18 and we solve this exponential equation for the values of n. So uh, now uh, here we solve this problem by two methods. So here first we solve this by method number one. So in method number one here uh, we just take uh, our variable term which is n we take the variable term in one side and we move the other constant term to the other side so here we just move this n to the right hand side and we move 18 to the left hand side so in order to move n to the left hand side uh, n to the right hand side we need to take the nth root on both of the sides so when we take nth root on both of the sides it means that we just write this equation in this form 81 to the power of n and its whole power 1 over n and in the right hand side we write n to the power of 18 and its whole power 1 over n and now uh, here we use the exponential law and in according to the exponential law this n is cancelled out by this n and we get 81 equals to n to the power of 18 over n so this 18 is multiplied by 1 over n and we get 18 over n and now in the next step we move 18 to the left hand side so that here we need to take the 18th root on both of the sides so we get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 equals to n to the power of 18 over n and its whole power 1 over 18. So uh, now in the next step uh, here we just uh, uh, simplify the terms in the right hand side. So this 18 is cancelled out by this 18 and here we rewrite this 81 as 9 square. We know that 9 square equals to 81 and its whole power 1 over 18. In the right hand side we have n to the power of 1 over n. So here we multiply these two values so this 2 is cancelled out by 18 by 9 and in the left hand side we get 9 to the power of 1 over 9 equals to n to the power of 1 over n. So uh, now you focus on both of the sides and you see here uh, when we compare both of the sides then you easily get the value of n equals to 9. So this is the final answer of this question from case number or from method one. So uh, now again we solve this question uh, from method number two. So uh, from method number two here first we copy down the question statement. It is 81 to the power of n equals to n to the power of 18. So in method number two here, here <clears throat> we just take the natural log on both of the sides of this uh, equation or we just take the common log okay you can choose any log so here we take the common log and it is log of 81 to the power of n equals to log of n to the power of 18 so here we use the nice property of logarithm and we move this n to the front of this log and it will be written as n times of log 81 equals to 18 times of log n. So here we again uh, separate the variable term. So we move this n to the right hand side and we move 18 to the left hand side and it will be written as log 81 divided by 18 equals to log of n divided by n. We move this n in the left hand side and 18 uh, we move n to the right hand side and 18 to the left hand side okay so after that uh, here we need some simplification and we have uh, this 18 and we write this 18 as log of 9 square we know that 9 square equals to 81 and it is divided by 18 equals to log of n divided by n and after that here we use the nice property of log and you know about this property if we have log of a to the power of n it is equals to n times of log a so here we use this property of log 
in the left hand side so we move this 2 in the front of this log and it will be written as 2 times of log 9 divided by 18 equals to log n divided by n so uh, now in the left hand side we need some simplification and you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 18 and we get 9 and we have log of 9 divided by 9 equals to log of n divided by n so uh, now in the next step we need to compare both of the sides and when you compare both of the sides then you get n equals to 9 so these are the denominator terms and if you compare the numerator terms then you get a log n equals to log 9 so here these logs are gone and you easily get the value of n equals to 9 so this is the method number two and uh, in from both of these method we easily get the value of n is equals to 9 so this is the final value of n and now in the next step we need to check this solution uh, is this value of n satisfied of a given question statement or not so that here first we copy down the question statement so our question statement is 81 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 18 so this is the our question statement uh, sorry uh, here we just have 81 to the power of n okay we solve this problem for the value of n so now we substitute this value of n from both of the sides and you see here we have 81 to the power of 9 equals to 9 to the power of 18 because we put the value of n here so after that uh, we rewrite this uh, 81 as uh, we know that 81 equals to 9 square and its whole power 9 equals to 9 to the power of 18 so here we use the exponential law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so we use this nice law in the left hand side and we write this expression as 9 to the power of 18 equals to 9 to the power of 18 so you see here the left hand side is equals to right hand side so both of the sides are equal it means that n equals to 9 satisfy the given question statement so this shows that n equals to 9 be the only solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos